So day 51, um, camped at the Quarterway last night. Uh, hang on a sec, just got to find the blaze. <laughs> Got it, it's just on the creek here. Um, so yeah, quarter way, and but I'm a third of the way through my time. 50 days done out of a total of hopefully 150. So second, in the second section, day 50 to 100, I have to really ramp it up um, because the third section's got the whites in it, and that'll slow me down again. So. Space of thunderstorm today. We woke up and it wasn't thunderstorming yet, so that's a good start. Um, hoping for 18, just under 18 miles, or just under 30 kilometres, to a shelter on top of a uh, mountain. So not not a high mountain, but um, it's in a bit of a pasture, I believe. And it's got four walls, so if it is thunderstorming and lightning, I can hop into that. Uh, not all fun and games. Straight out of camp this morning. Happy that it wasn't raining, but it is muggy and it's uphill. It's seven, eight hundred foot in a couple of miles, so three kilometres. So it was a tough start today. Um, wanting to do 18. There's about four of these during the day, or three at least. Uh, probably lose so hum today for a little while anyway. He's got some friends coming to see him at the six miles. The fluffhead, grey squirrel and I are still going to try and do the 18. Get to the stone shelter tonight. Especially if the thunderstorms do roll in. Oh boy. Yeah, um, I think he does but he's not using it. Hey, Grey Squirrel, can you check your gut hooks? Can you check your gut hooks? The map? Yeah. yeah. We're coming down off that first climb and we get a really nice first up view. One of these little salamander things. Yeah, so hum found him on the trail. Beautiful mountains have just come down. I mean, this is like autumn, even though it's their spring. The colours in these trees. Wow. Even the paddocks are uphill. Any opportunity the AT can go uphill, it'll go uphill. <laughs> and the Mount Mountain just takes a shortcut. Now, this is by far the tallest one of these we've come across. It's like a wall, we can't even see this grey squirrel on the other side.
Okay, viewers. Uh, so last few days I've been working with uh, working walking with a guy called Salham, uh, but today he's got some friends coming. This is Salham in front of you. Uh, How did you get the name Salham? Salham, I it's a name I gave to myself. It's a mantra to stay present out here. It means I am in Sanskrit. Uh, okay. And uh, what made you do the trial? Oh, ever since I've been a little kid and I heard about it for the first time, I thought, man, something that runs right through our backyard, you know, here in the states and. Uh, Georgia to Maine, I mean, I've, what a better way to see the country than to walk it, you know, and I love nature and love activity, so this was a perfect fit. And tell them the uh, interesting uh, cre creativity job that you do. Uh, so before I came out here, I was a chainsaw carver, um, and I hope to be a chainsaw carver when I get back. Yeah. Um, anything from little stuff to 15 feet tall. Now I've seen one of the picture, uh, one of the photos, I'm hoping you can send it to me and I'll add it into this video. Um, fantastic work and um, he, he was telling me that the pressure can uh, sometimes get to you and I can imagine because if he does one little detail wrong there goes the whole tree so uh, how have you found the hike how hard uh, the hike has definitely been a challenge uh, many different ways I mean of course meeting awesome people is easy that's me that's you, you, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know the weather and the the mountains the roots the rocks everything that's trying to beat you up you know bite you all that stuff yeah. and stuff but i mean it's it's everything i wanted and what's your favorite favorite part so far oh man grayson highlands was really awesome but big bald i don't know i got ah. a great day up there and uh, it was just an amazing view and the whole hike leading up to it was awesome so it's between the grayson highlands and the big Bald. but we just went through that big uh, cow pasture and that was amazing with all the trees in bloom and yeah and we were all amazed you didn't actually slip in one of those cow pats so <laughs> he does hit a few stumbles and rocks and things um so uh he's going to fall a couple of miles behind us because he's got friends coming to visit but we hope to catch up with him again i know i'm going to lose some female subscribers but there you go uh, ladies <laughs> um hopefully you can catch up so that's so hum and thanks for your time sam yeah thank you reboot peace I hate stairs. So, Grace Squirrel and I have just been commenting about we had trial magic yesterday for lunch, and then we just dropped so arm off to uh, a couple of friends of his, and they bought trial magic, greatest fruit I've had in a long time, great mix of fruit. But they also had water, coffee, uh, donuts, peanut butter bars lots of stuff and the way we're going we're carrying five days worth of food thinking we needed food for five days i didn't cook last night because i had so much to eat at the um, mexican restaurant for lunch yesterday with hawkeye i'm going to be carrying about three days worth of food when i get to my next resupply <laughs> so i am saving there but you've got to carry the weight and it's really muggy today and it's crossing all our minds thinking why did we get so much food? <laughs> All right, starting to starting to rain, and we can hear the thunder rolling in. So I think we're about to get wet. We're only 0.9 from a shelter, but I don't think we're going to get there before it really starts covered down. Oh, it's so humid. Miles in, we're at the Knockmore shelter, and uh, look at this cute little uh, picnic table. Sort of. We'll cut in half. Uh, probably just the toilet stop here and then we'll keep going. There's some major tree blowdowns. You gotta duck under. Uh, yeah. We're heading up uh, the first main up after lunch. And we can hear the thunder. The rain's starting to get heavier. We want to get up and over. Oh, it's really starting to come down. Come on, hold off. It's 
see the clouds rolling in in the valley over there. I think we're going to get wet. Where are you going? Oh. Yeah. oh, he's worried about rain. You think it's going to rain? No way. Nice, nice big millipede. Where? Huh. It's already raining. Just as we get to the ridge. We just had a major crack of thunder right above us. <laughs> We're right on the top of the ridge, so these guys need to get their coats on quick so we can get down off this ridge. Uh, this might have been from the last lightning and thunderstorm. <laughs> a bit of an obstacle on the trail. Great firewood. I'm not taking it home. <laughs> I'm videoing through the glad bag again as we are definitely in the middle of a lightning thunderstorm. Oh, it's pouring. Oh, here we go, this will show you it. <laughs> Lovely day for it. Good night. Yeah. 
Last climb for the day, 4.7 miles, 6.5 k's, 7 k's, 2,000 feet, 600 odd metres, oh, and stairs. Alright, so the rain's gone for now, we just, um, we've just come up about 1,500 foot out of the 2,000. Uh, Got about two, just under 2 miles to go, so 3 kilometres, but there's a water source there, you can see the W next to me pack, which is... Uh, um, behind Fluffhead there, it's a pond, but there's a pipe spring. Here comes uh, Grey Screw, but he's having some trouble with his pack. As close in mountains as where we've come across today. I assume the ones in the background we were further, and just down there is the pond I got the water. This is what little hump and big hump should have looked like when I didn't have the wind. Tonight's camp location. And if it's going to be thunderstorms, hopefully we get a bunk. Just a knob shot. After 2,000 foot climb, 650 metres. This is the inside of just a knob shoulder. Grey squirrel's going to go there. I'm taking there. Um, fluffy one up there. We've got a spare single up there, and that one looks like it carries about three. But we have an indoor table for cooking. Yes. So you come up that trail there, past that Christmas Eve sort of tree, and then you say, Thank God I'm here, and you've got this shelter. There's the privy over there, but then on this side, oh, the AT obviously keeps going over there. But you've got this view of a valley. Ah, oh, that's nice. Really nice. You hear thunder in the distance, it's coming. We're all camping inside at the moment, so at the moment seat sleeps eight, and I think we've got at least nine, maybe ten. Yeah, I'm pretty happy I'm in this stone shelter tonight. not getting any better the screen doesn't show how dark it really is it's about 6 30 and it is very black on that side over here not so bad over here very black why has that gone blurry? Oh, that's really black. That's the hair. One of the other hikers uh, looked at the radar and we had a lot of red and uh, orangey oh, yeah. and it's coming right now.
I don't know if you can hear me, but we've got a slight amount of rain. I think it might be hailing. <laughs> don't slam the door, it might make too much noise. <laughs> So it's still pouring rain. Yeah. Hey, Sam! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. yeah! You must have nearly died. Oh, man. <laughs> Up on top of that grassy vault, I was a little nervous about the lightning. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, it's 20 to 8 at night. Uh, I can't believe Selham actually made it. He walked through the worst of that lightning storm. He said it's been chasing him since about 4 o'clock. And he had to get water, so he stopped to get the water, and then he just bolted up, which is, I know, 400 metres. But while I was filming that really noisy section where we couldn't hear anything, and we were filming out the door and things like that, he was on the trail coming up to the shelter. Uh, he said he had to catch up to his buddies on rap that he got here. We've made room for him. He's drying out. Um, and it's a super effort. Well done, so... Um...